I feel um, invigorated and excited and I am up for the challenge. Absolutely. You've been out on doorsteps already. What are you hearing from your constituents? Uh, I hear many things from my constituents, both in terms of uh, parochial issues and in terms of the broader picture. Uh, certainly people are concerned about jobs and the economy. Um, and, you know, people are actually quite invigorated at the prospect of having another w w woman candidate, uh, another strong woman candidate who can add to the ranks of the OBA. And, um, you know, I was surprised actually to uh, discover, which perhaps is a little known fact, but uh, the OBA already has more women in the party than any of the other um, uh, uh, parties around the Commonwealth. We have almost 29% and I would like to put us over that hump and make it 35%. <laughs> what are you looking forward to getting to work uh, if you were to be elected? I'm sorry? What are you looking forward to getting to work on if you were to be elected? Uh, my first and foremost consideration is my constituents. Um, I want to be their sounding board, I want to hear what their concerns are, and I want to be able to make those concerns known to the leadership of the party. Because at the end of the day, I am running to be the MP for mm -hmm. Sands South. And, um, you know, I feel very uh, connected to this community. I've lived here um, for 28 years, unlike my opponent from St. George's. I have very deep roots in this community, and I have a stake in this community. So I'm looking forward to meeting each and every one of the constituents, hearing them, and galvanizing this community so that we ourselves improve our community.